This is Natasha from Makeup and SFC. Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do this makeup look right here. It is glowy, it is spring, it is colorful. It's just something that I was in the mood for. Um, I have this light wash of orange all over the lid with a little bit of glitter and sparkle. And then I have a matte pink movie lip. And my skin is just glowy and ready for spring and ready to get out of the winter cold so if you're interested in this makeup look then please keep on watching okay so let's get started so i've already sprayed my face with this reviva labs this is the rose water facial spray it has aloe herbs mineral minerals and hyaluronic acid the reason that i got this is because it actually has glycerin in it and it reminds me of the mac fix plus so i've prepped my face so now it's all moisturized. So now I'm going to use a combination of two e.l.f. primers. I have my poreless primer and my acne blemish um, primer. Now I'm going to use my Kiehl's. This is, oops, I'm just going to prep my lips. This is the Eucalyptus Lip Relief. So, First things first, we're going to use foundation. The foundation that I've been loving, I took on my trip to Seattle. I will list that vlog down below, but I've been loving this Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. I'm going to apply that with my Coolie foundation brush. So I'm just spraying a pump of that on the back of my hand and applying that. The good thing about this foundation is that it's really lightweight. It doesn't look like you have too much on. So I like to apply a really light layer of that. Now, it is a light to medium coverage foundation. I am sure if I packed it on, then I would have more coverage. But right now I'm gonna work with this light layer and then I'm going to use concealer. As always, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in medium. Oh my gosh, my hands are so slippery. Gonna use that to conceal and highlight. Now I am ready for spring. I'm over my eczema. Like, I just wanna get brown and be back in the town. You know what I mean? Like, I have this thing on my chin right now that I'm just so irritated about. I, I picked a zit. And then I don't know if I had like a reaction to something, but whatever. Gonna take care of that real quick. Taking this on my Real Technique sponge just to blend everything out. I'm going to use this. It Cosmetics. It is the 211 All Over powder brush. And take my Maybelline Fit Me powder and set my whole face. And has just enough coverage to just set that HD foundation. It's poreless. It's just an all around good powder. All right. To set my under eye, I'm going to use my NYC Loose Powder, and I have that depotted into this small... Whoa. Next, I'm going to bronze with my City Color Cosmetics. You've seen me use this a thousand times. And I'm going to take that on my Cosetti S125 brush. Whoa.
taking the Morphe, this is an angled brush. I don't know the number that they have, but it's just an angled brush. And I'm gonna take that contour shade to deepen up my contour. I feel like I'm in a contouring rut. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out like a new way to contour, like maybe I wanna do creams or something. All right, now I'm gonna take that NYC powder again just to clean up my contour. I'm gonna put that right under. Nothing too major. Now onto brows. I'm going to first uh, prime my eyelids with my Wet n Wild for Fergie eyeshadow primer. I do this all the time. I'm gonna use that all over the lids, up to the brow. Then I'm gonna take my Milani, this is my brow and eye highlighting pencil. I'm gonna use that to start to define under the brow. This is what I do to establish the shape. I'm gonna take this MAC 212. This is just a random limited edition one, but they sell like full size ones. I'm just gonna use that to blend up to the lower part of my brow and then blend it with my finger. This is just a good guideline for me to show me where I want my shape to start and end. I'm gonna take my clear brow gel from Wet n Wild to prime my eye uh, brows, if you will. And I'm just gonna use that all over the brows, kind of like put them in place. And then I'm gonna get my brow powder. I can find it. This is my Ardell uh, Define a Brow Kit. and I'm, This is in the shade Dark. And I'm going to fill that in with a Delium Tools 762. It's like the thinnest uh, eyeliner brush. are doing whatever we're gonna take some NYX concealer in a pot ow just hit my head clean up this mess I made hopefully we can salvage this anyway I'll just move on to the main event which is the eyeshadow Okay, so today for the eyeshadow, I wanted to do something spring-like and fresh because I'm just done. Let's see, well maybe let's do something like orange, orangey. So I'm gonna take this um, eBay palette. It's like the Ansel 15 pan palette. I'm gonna take this white shade to highlight my brow bone and set all that cream that we just put under there. Good highlight shade. I've been like on an eBay kick, especially when it comes to makeup. Just because everything is so inexpensive, and I'm sure that's not like the best of choices, but I'm having fun trying stuff. Now I'm going to take my uh, Morphe 350 palette has all the shades that I want and a lot of people would think this is just a like fall um, palette but I think I can take it into spring no problem I'm gonna take this 
tan shade, which is third from, I guess, the top of the eyeshadow palette. Take that and blend that in my crease. I'm taking this on a BH Cosmetics, just I think it's called the crease brush. Just messily in the crease. I picked that one because it kind of looks like it's orangey. It's kind of like soft brown from MAC. Just blending that upwards. Now I'm going to take a more precise brush. This is my Morphe M4, M433. I'm going to take this orange shade right here. It is a lighter orange shade. I'm going to take that and put that in my crease. Okay, so my battery died and I did one eye off camera, so we're gonna try this. Okay, so where we left off was we used this color in the crease and then this color deeper in the crease. Now we're going to take the, a mixture of these two colors and I'm gonna put that on the lid. I'm just taking that on this no name flat shader brush. I want this to look really fresh and really just like a pop of color on the lid. Actually going to be all I'm going to do. That's pretty much done. So now that that's done, I'm going to take that same brush that we had the orange color. I'm going to just wipe it off and then I'm going to use this shimmer shade. I'm going to put that right at the center, not making it any kind of like spotlight, but just adding a little bit of glitter to the center of the lid, just like that. And then I'm going to take that brush and just sort of like diffuse it. Now for the inner corner, same brush. I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades. They're the lightest shades in the palette. I'm going to mix those two together and highlight my inner corner. And take this pencil brush. I'm just going to mix like all three of these oranges together. <laughs> then I'm going to do one last blend. Super easy. Take a little bit of this orange shade and I have a little bit on my brush right there. I'm going to blow that out right at the edge just so that I can pull in a little bit more of that orange color. I want this to go like almost to my brow bone because I just I want it to be really blown out. Alright, then I'm going to apply my lashes and my bottom mascara and I will get back to you. Okay, so I have my lashes on. They are my Dingsen lashes. I'm going to take this. This is a Morphe G8, and I think I'm going to take the sort of like peachy pink color right here. These are super pigmented, so a little goes a long way. And then if you think you've gone a little too overboard with the blush, just take your powder brush that has a little bit of your setting powder still and just dap that stuff away. I'm going to take this Morphe 501, M501. I'm going to take my Profusion um, highlighter palette and I'm going to take a mixture of these two colors right here. They don't have names, but they're just cute. Take that right at the top of my cheekbones. So I 
just wiped off my chapstick and now I'm going to apply the color Move It Over from Revlon. Throw back, because who still wears lipstick anymore? <laughs> 